So I'm working on a pitch video for my UGC freelancing stuff so I can use some of the other apps and services and maybe start, I don't know, reaching out to brands directly, cold calling or whatever. Um, I got a real bounce light one day. This is just like a piece of white and you see without it, with it, it helps bounce light. Um, I mean, you can achieve the same results with a piece of white paper as one of these like things that cost a lot of money can achieve. So no rush yet. It's just, it's what I learned in college. It'd be better if it was there. I don't have a clamp. I don't have a clamp for this. It would be better if I can do that. But whatever. My laptop screen will also throw some light. But like I said, I'm working on a pitch video. Um, it seems to be the next reasonable step. Really enjoying UGC. So this stuff is really fun and creative. Um, it's good enough for what it is. So let's start. I put this on, you know, kind of, I, I kind of want to show like stuff about me that I like, you know, so you can see like some of my nerd stuff here. Obviously filming by a window, trying not to glare my glasses, but I'm also going to try to do my next one after this, which is um, a selfie with a product I have to do. And then after that, I have a blow dryer hairbrush that showed up that I have to work on a review video for. So I have a lot going on and it's really exciting and I wanna just keep pursuing this. So let's do this pitch video. I'm gonna go do the selfie next. I think I got on this what I need. And yeah, I keep this on for the selfie. Get the selfie done. I'll probably take you off the tripod. And then I'll do those photos and I'll do this video. And yeah, I don't know. <laughs> there isn't anything I can really do about how high up this is. I can't fit my tripod in here. It's a tiny bathroom, but all right. I'm setting up for the next one, the selfie. And I'm using Andrew's tripod. This is like a phone thing that the phone can go in, but I've been having a lot of issues with it because I, I think because of this. So I don't really know what to do about that. I also have issues. So you're supposed to use this side camera and not this side camera, because this one's better, but I can't really see that one when I use it. So I'm trying to figure that out. Hopefully Rowan doesn't have to go to the bathroom while I'm doing this. But yeah, so I'm taking a selfie with this. Oh no, can I move you? Can I move you so you can see me? And now you can kind of see me, right? Yeah, whatever. So, this is the brand. It's like, is this whipped honey bomb? Whipped? It says whipped tallow honey bomb. I applied to it because I really like the packaging and the brand name. And it was just a selfie, but it says it's everyday face cream, body lotion, and lip balm. Oh, it kind of looks like butter. But I'm really enjoying this. So I got I have to do a selfie with it, you know? There's an aspect of this that is really, really close to what I do in my job. And that is understanding brands. The way that like everything in our job works with is we, we get to know the properties. We get to know the properties. So like when we do something for Sanrio, we have to know Sanrio because we're selling stuff to people who know Sanrio, if that makes sense. And I'm finding the same aspect in this. This is like a form of digital marketing, marketing, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just really fascinated by this. So I'm going to do this and then 
I'll go to my computer or something. We'll continue to talk after I do this. It's the next day and I'm up in the attic for a little bit. Um, I'm cleaning up this room. If you can see, it's a disaster. And this is like um, my kind of like recording creative area, but it got flooded with junk when our basement flooded. So I'm now working continuously <laughs> trying to get it cleaned up. But I do have like um, purpose now to get it cleaned up because this is gonna be like in this area is gonna be where I film my package course I'm working on. And since I'm really getting UGC work going, this is where I want to start doing UGC work. I have this window for natural light. I have this white table, might retire it, might clean it up, not sure. But I think this is like a nice space for what I wanna do, you know? There's stuff in here, like this table. And there's like a little stool that went to this table. I got this at a Rite Aid one time when I needed like, just like a laptop table and I don't need it anymore, you know? Stuff here to clean up. I mean, this is amazing. I want it to work again. There's like an app that goes with it. It's like one of my favorite things Andrew ever got me. There's old samples from an old job up here, different things, um, books for our public library we're gonna make out front. I have two packs of these, I'll just show you one. But I got these like nice, like um, leaf lights to put up and make like an aesthetic background. I brought this privacy screen from my parents' house. I'm hoping to set it up on this wall and like decorate it, get a little chair. Uh, we had plans of making a wall that looked brick, but with the way that the basement went, that plan got kind of put on hold for now. But yeah, I wanted to use, let's see if I can put you down somewhere that I can talk to you. So I actually wanted to use the second half of this video to talk about what steps I take when I have a brand I'm working with. And this is applicable to both what I do in my full-time job when I work with brands through the company that I work at doing like retail well, I'm switching positions, so I'm going to be managing packaging for that company. So <laughs> as a coincidentally, you know, where I just talked about, like, I love packaging so much and I like want to do a course on it. I'm actually switching in my professional career to just focus on the packaging. So <laughs> funny how that works out. But I've been using the same steps that I do at that job with UGC. I kind of feel like it all goes hand in hand. It's all working with brands and understanding brands for the consumer level. But at work, what would happen is like, they'll sign a contract with someone. I don't know. Like I know the example I use a lot is Nintendo because we don't have a Nintendo license. And there is an aspect of understanding this brand for what you're designing because you're making stuff for people who are gonna buy this, who are the people who like this. So we can always like, you know, in this hypothetical situation, sign this contract with Nintendo and then we can just like slap a bunch of random characters from Nintendo properties on something. But that doesn't mean that one, the licensor is gonna approve it or two, a fan is gonna look at it and buy it, you know? Um, <laughs> trying to think of something silly. Cause it's all hard. Cause like Nintendo also like crosses its property so much. <laughs> like, I guess you wouldn't put the Inkling squids in Super Mario 3 level background, if you get it. Though I kind of feel like with Super Smash Brothers and like Mario Kart and stuff like that, that is totally something that might be across you would see. The point I'm trying to make is like, there is a level, even in a professional company, of getting to know your demographic, getting to know who the people are that buy this stuff, and also getting to know this brand. What is this brand? What do they represent? What imagery goes with them? What colors, what feels, what fonts? Like all of that, where are they located? Who are the people that shop their products? Who are the people that they want to shop their products? And I've been bringing that into UGC. That's how I've been approaching it with even the commission selfies that I've been doing. And I'm having a lot of fun. Honestly, I, 
enjoy brand exploration a lot. This is the next one I'm working on. This isn't a paid campaign, but it is a campaign on social media I'm working on for this company. And it's through a website or app. I forget if they have an app, but I'm, I'm doing it through the web browser. So I know there's at least a website. I think it's called Stack Influence. I'm so tired today too, I'm sorry. My watch, like legitimately, I'll show you. My watch, show me watch. It says eight hours of sleep. I don't feel like I got eight hours of sleep. I don't know what's going on. My first one I'm doing is the campaign for this trail mix. I noticed I have not opened the trail mix at all. <laughs> that is part of the process. So what I do is I like, I feel it. Like this is gonna be really weird, but bear with me. I'll feel it, I'll look over the packaging, I'll look at all the words, what things about this stand out to me, and then pick up my smartphone and I go to their page. And I'll literally scroll through everything that I see. I'm obviously not gonna do it in real time with you guys and I've already done it. And then I'll go to the little tagged and I'll scroll through, I guess it's not scroll, but I guess not many people tag them. <laughs> but I'll go through the stuff that people like me are creating and see what they did. You know, like maybe go in, read words. And I just do that kind of research. And then when I fulfilled going through their page, seeing what people are tagging them, I may look at competitors. I would do that by like, what is this? So look up, notice it says, healthy snack. So I'll look up healthy snack competitors. Notice, I mean the obvious one, it's trail mix. So that I'll look up trail mix and see what kind of images and videos and posts and things people are saying about trail mix. And then once I do all of that research, that kind of puts me in the mind set of like the brand I'm in the mindset of the brand. I'm in the mindset of the consumer who wants this brand. And then that's where I start loosely brainstorming a script. And I've already done this because I've already been working on this one, but I look for examples, I'll save them. I might have a billion tabs open on my PC. Cause like the best advice I ever heard as a designer is that there's no original ideas. Inspiration is everywhere take and make your own. So I take in a lot of stuff, examples, colors, things people do, and then I come up with an idea that's my own that way. But there's no original ideas, you know? Like if I wanted to do, this is in a cabinet, I open the door, pull it out and you see it. I'm so happy, I rip it open and then eat it. How many people have probably done that, you know? Loosely brainstorm, start coming up with a script. And then I look around my home for what is feasible. And then I come up with what I'm gonna do. And so for this one, and I will not be able to record this in real time and show you an example. Perhaps another video I can show you an example of that. But this one I've come up with how does this apply to meals and snacking through the day? But again, did not open this because part of the video is gonna be me opening it. So if you're impulsive and you're like, oh my God, I wanna try it, get a feel for it, blah, 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 and you rip it open and then you start eating, you're gonna to have to buy another bag. They only sent me one. So that's my creative process with this stuff. Super excited. And I wanna finish this so I can do other campaigns through the Stack Influence, I think it's called. It's actually in my email. <laughs> Cause they sent me an email reminder. and was like, you gotta submit your campaign. Stack, yeah, Stack Influence. Yeah, they were like, this is a friendly reminder that you got to submit your campaign. And I was like, oh God, is my campaign due this week? And then I looked and it's due in a month. And I was like, oh, okay. Not. <laughs> Not very friendly for people with anxiety. Here, I moved to the floor. But yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this. And I think that's the point is all the fun I'm having. But like I said, I gotta get this room cleaned up. Like, look at this. This is um a camera bag 
that I got from work when they were moving. They just, they had, to be fair, it was not a camera I would have bought, but they had a really old DSLR. The, it didn't even have a flip out. That's how old it was. And they were throwing it out <laughs> because we no longer have a photography person. We go through a third party company and I was like, can this just disappear? And they were like, yeah. <laughs> so I have camera fun cameras. But yeah, I have this box of stuff from my old job. Um, these are like placemats. I used to have two packs of them and then we actually used it for an ex's graduation party. And then I have this one. It might be good for Rowan. And so I've been holding on for them as we start to have family meals, but I don't have a dining room table set up. So, and then I have my softbox light from another light set that I use on this ring light to kind of dial dilute the light because my glasses. So like this is now over, so now this is now casted over my window via holding it up. And you can see that the glasses glare kind of went away. But when I bring it down, it goes back. So that's what that's there about. Um, old ceramic travel mug that I made my first job ever. Yeah. All this stuff is like stuff from my first job ever. I didn't make these, but like I thought they were cool. They did their equivalent of purge. And I just wanted to hold on to some of this stuff for like when I get an office. Stuff like memo pads and stuff like that. So I think they're definitely going to assimilate out into this room as I make this entire attic floor more of an office. Because we do have in there situation going on since Andrew can't be in the basement. We are working it out. Credit card is paid off. With my help and Andrew's help is like a joint force task force team to pay off that credit card. I hate that credit card. Every time we put like the smallest amount of money on it, it just like shoots up. But task force paid it off. Student loans paid off. And I'm able to start stowing away money like a little chipmunk. Um, but cleaning, cleaning is definitely important. There's a lot to clean up. So like I said, I'm gonna start doing it little by little. There's a lot of junk in here like Unopened tissues can probably go down in our linen closet. <laughs> but besides all the babbling, I mainly just wanted to walk you guys through a process of how either, like I said, in my full-time job or with UGC, I go about brand research as the first step before I do any creative stuff and what that looks like. If you would like to see a more detailed video on it, like totally leave that down in the comments. I might make one anyway, and I'll especially have that in the package design course. Like, that's definitely important. So regardless, if you want to see it in like the realm of UGC, or if you want to wait and see it in the package course, that is up to you. But if it's helpful, let me know down in the comments. The engagement really helps, and I love chatting. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are interested in my journey as a creator or this package design course that I'm going to be releasing in the fall, again, like I said in the video about that I noted I'm releasing it, I've been a designer in retail product facing category for over 10 years. Packaging is the thing that I enjoy the most, so I want to make a course to help people who want to know more are just leaving college, looking for their full-time job, or are just interested. So that should be coming out in the fall, like I said. So subscribe <laughs> if any of that is something you would like to see more about. Thank you again for watching, and I'll check in the next one, and have a great day, and I love you. And honestly, I can't wait to eat these. <laughs> it looks so good. Okay, bye.